Hi, it's Nicole, and today I'm going to show you how to use this calendar template that I created. Um, if you're just stumbling across this video on YouTube, you can get this template off of my blog. Um, I found this uh, calendar on uh, thedailydigi.com, and I had to create my own. I thought I would share the template here for those of you who would like to use it. Um, basically, this tutorial will apply with any template that you would find on the internet, but I'm using mine as an example. I'm also using um, some paper and embellishments from Enjoy the Moment Kit by Celine Studios. It's available on scrapmatters.com. Okay, so first we're going to start with our background, <clears throat> which is the dark gray area. And you want to click on that background, make sure it's selected and choose your background paper and just drag it on there and you see it falls right in there on your background and that's pretty much all you have to do with that and we're done with that so we'll close that now I wanted to add white paper here on these lighter gray areas so I click on the first one select the white paper drag it down now I want to do control G and that will group it with that paper or with that shape in the background. Okay. Now over here we want to go to the shape, right click and merge clipping mat. Okay. Now I've already added shadows on this template. Some templates have shadows, some do not. So um, with this one you don't have to worry about that. Then we need to do the exact same thing here with the second one. Drag it down, control G to group it, click the shape, right click, merge clipping mask. Then we're going to do the third one. Drag it down, control G. and merge the clipping mask. Now we are done with that paper. Okay, now I need to add my photos. And the easiest way I find is just to click on the one that you're going to use instead of trying to find it over here in the layers palette. I mean in the, um, yeah. So I'm using Disney World pictures for this calendar. So the first one I'm going to add is the castle. You see it's way too big, so we're going to have to take it down, but we're going to do control G, and that's going to merge it with the, that little tiny template, and we're going to grab it by one of the corners and make it really small. And we're going to rotate it a little bit, and we're going to keep making it smaller. And rotating it until it's just how it should be. Okay. And we're going to do right click, merge clipping mask, and repeat with all the pictures. Seven of them are on this template. Okay, make sure we drag it by the corner so that it doesn't distort the photo. Okay, and we're going to click the uh, green arrow to confirm when we are satisfied. 
merge clipping mat, and that is done. Now you would repeat that with all of the rest of the um, the white spaces, which are for photos. And once you're finished, um, you can either add some embellishment straight to this before printing, like so. Um, that would definitely need to be resized. Or you can add some real embellishment after you print it. Now this is an 8x10 size, so you'll be able to fr print it at any photo processing place or on your home printer on 8x10 um, photo paper or even cardstock. Okay, now when you get all of your photos entered, just like how I showed you, um, dragging them over top of each layer and Control G to group them and then resizing them. Once you finish all that, you're going to need to re to delete this first layer that shows where your fold lines are going to be for after it's printed. And you just send the just delete them by hitting that little trash can. Okay. And before you print, you're going to need to do layer and flatten the image. And then you will save as, you want to save it as a JPEG and rename it whatever you would like to rename it and save. Okay, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.